Hello everyone, it's Dee and welcome to my Pick a Card Tarot Readings channel and welcome to your reading, Lightworkers. This reading is... Hello, Mandela number two. You were attracted to the Joy Crystal and what this is going to tell you is you are stepping into the Temple of Light for initiation and activation. So those of you attracted to this particular Mandela, this is where you are just now starting to um, you know, walk down that path. Am I a light worker? Is this resonating with me? Is this my call? Or this may be the first time you've ever heard of such a concept or felt drawn in to watch a reading as such. If you don't fall into those two categories, um, you know, pick a different mandala because this is about initiation. A very aware and awakened light worker potentially could resonate with this if you are about to. Um, be initiated into a much higher state and level than you're currently at because this is brand new energy a brand new awakening and awareness of your self as a light worker and your mission and the work and journey ahead so let's pull you some more cards inner earth you'll survive this new solutions and beginnings oh my goodness inner earth that's the inner you you are stepping into that temple of light and being activated to an awareness of self in a way you have never experienced before messenger serious energy bringing harmony and balance so um, those of you that are watching this some of you could be star seeds from um, Sirius. Now also with this energy, this particular collective is choosing to work with you as a light worker. So there is an oversoul of Syrian energy for each and every one of you attracted to this second mandala. And right now you are stepping into the temple of light for initiation and full activation. And now initiation, you know, there's a process to this. And sometimes we have to go through dark night of the soul. Sometimes we have to really face head on our inner demons, our inner emotional wounds to fully overcome and expand into our light. It's different for all of you. Um, some of you, this is about your spiritual gift, your utter awareness that you are a part of something much faster than anything that's spoken of here on the earth plane. All right, there's a, a lot going on for you, a lot of awakening, a lot of changes up ahead, and it's because you are expanding in to your light, the light worker in which you are, and there's this oversoul of the Syrian collective that is working with you and guiding you and they're coming in now walking with you through the initiation process saying it's time for you to get turned on and activated into who and what you truly are so many of you probably do feel as though you know there's something different about you uh, that you don't fit in with most people you're very sensitive okay of energy and with that inner earth some of you could be quite sensitive towards earth in general like uh, earth changes environmental changes um, connection to mother earth's kingdom and animals all right um, with that inner earth but these two pairing up you carry light messages and you're meant to deliver these messages to others that are going to come up on your path, your journey ahead. And that's why you are now stepping into the Temple of Light for your initiation and activation. It's because there is a lot of work, a lot of spiritual work to be done up ahead for you. 
Okay, so you guys, star beings, and you got this serious energy. So big confirmation of star seed. Like, yes, you are a star seed, and you are a light worker as well. Look at that. And energy shift. That's what's happening to you right now. Paving the way. And intuition and third eye. All right, so these right here are beautiful. First of all, confirmation for some of you that you are a star seed connected to the Syrian system. Um, for others of you, this is the confirmation of the Syrian collective working as an oversoul with you as the light worker, your mission as a light worker, this journey. So, star seed. Um, or starseed slash light worker, you both are working with the Syrian energy for the light that you are meant to anchor in to the earth plane for all to receive. This is beautiful. You have such a vast collective of consciousness, of energy around you and which protects you and guides you and awakens you. And you might not always feel that, but you are uh, definitely awakening in this temple of light. What you are activating, um, the initiation is huge energy shift inside of you. So dark night of the soul, many of you um, have been there or you're going through that now. And that's where every layer of you is peeled away. You know, everything that is not not in alignment with the place that you are now headed must fall away and an awakening and awareness of self of divinity divinity of others must be had and that's what you're going through right now and it's because you are paving the way the thoughts the ideas the information that you will bring to others um, the information you will channel from the Syrian collective okay you're paving the way um, you are one of the workers paving the way for the Aquarian age really anchoring in those light codes and part of this initiation is big time activation to your intuition and your third eye so this energy shift is gonna be um, very shocking for you um, just this awareness like the realization of who and what you are um, it might be like what this can't be real but it, it just resonates so deeply it's because there is something different about you and um, others of you big awakening to the gifts that have been there you know on your peripheral like you know that you are sensitive and intuitive but now it's like boom it's full force where there was just a crack it's wide open because you are definitely anchoring in these Aquarian age light codes and paving the way for others paving the way for other light workers and star seeds um, in a big way as well it's like through your life journey and your awakening process after you're on the other side of this initiation you're going to help a lot of other light workers through that same process to awaken and become aware of who and what they are all right i many of you are going to be in a leadership position helping others and it's the syrian starseed uh collective that's coming in that's assisting you and guiding you and some of you are directly attached and associated to the system and that is your collective your primary collective consciousness and what you come from and others of you it's not but that is who you have teamed up with as a light worker for this journey and that's the oversoul in which you operate from Do you sometimes find the fear of what could happen is making nothing happen in your life? If so, I want you to come down here with me and I want to show you basically a very powerful... Night of Swords. Night of Swords. Night of Swords. This is coming out under star beings. You definitely channel information and receive it through your intuition. And you also get visions with the third eye. And it comes from the Syrian collective. 
under the lay worker two of pentacles okay so this coming out i just have to say um i feel every one of you is truly like um the consciousness of the the serious system all right i was you know looking at this as a collective from another place working as light worker with the oversoul of the Syrian but I with this coming out the two that's like a dual mission you are a star seed from the Syrian collective 100% and that's why this oversoul is so strong and um, part of you guys maybe knew you or were a light worker and this is what you are awakening into is the fact that you are from the Syrian collective okay that's just a spirit made that so strong and I'm like okay okay I get it I get it and so you are a star seed that is doing a light worker role okay um, so it's like dual you have two things that you're doing here the work of your collective and then also um which is like connected to mother earth gaia like um with that earth energy yeah like you're you're anchoring in those light codes okay um and that's like your star seed work and then the light worker is you and the way that you interact with others with other light workers um with other you know people that aren't here for a spiritual mission okay so you have like two tasks going on knight of rods under energy shift wow once this um initiation and activation is complete you're going to be filled with an energy like you have never known paving the way here we have the seven of cups yeah you are highly instrumental in anchoring the aquarian light codes in as your star seed mission and then this here paving the way you are a teacher you are a guide you are a healer for other light workers as well as um, bringing forth inspiration and walking a path that is very um, inspiring to like you know the collective consciousness of humanity of you know man and woman here so you've got two things that you're very strongly working on and here with the seven of pentacles under intuition and third eye some of you I feel as though you have you know tried to um, expand your intuition your your psychic ability all of that and you're like I just I can only get so far well you are now stepping into that temple of light for your initiation to go to that next level because your physical avatar is finally ready to receive those higher vibrations of energy in which you're going to receive from the Syrian realm as your you know third eye really opens and expands so be prepared you are in a I feel like spiritual boot camp right now is a good way to put that and it's because you are a very big soul and you come from a much more evolved collective than that of humanity and so you're doing the work to help humanity but you're doing the work to help um, Mother Earth Gaia and work to help other star seeds as well as um, to help other lay workers. So you got a lot going on and you are now just at the beginning of it all. Okay, everything turns to light and that's what you're doing, right? I work to improve myself, embrace all that life brings to me, and transform darkness into light. I allow myself to grow and become stronger. You are definitely a leader, a starseed light worker. Let's pull you one final message. Dance to the rhythm of life. Today, I find the joy in my heart. I lighten my life by releasing what I no longer need. I align with who I am and gently acknowledge who I am not. I am grateful for what I possess and am at peace with what I do not. I appreciate and accept my life as it is. I live according to the will of God. In this way, I dance with life and see the magic of love bloom. And that's what you do everywhere you go. As a star seed light worker, you are planting seeds of love and light 
Um, and these seeds are different for all depending on, you know, who's going to receive them, whether it's um, <clears throat> a collective of humanity, it's a, another light worker, or it's a fellow star seed. And it could be a star seed from a totally different collective than you, but you're meant to be a leader and really pave the way this life journey. And right now you're being led into the temple of light and you're going through the initiation process, which is not easy. And there's a big acknowledgement of that but you are strong and you will make it to the other side and it's going to be like a big, big energy shift and reality flip for you onto the other side. But your uh, third eye is wide open and your intuition unmatched, unmatched on the other side of this. So those are your messages from the second mandala. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care.